What is that? Is that a skipjack? Oh man, I don't even know what kind of fish that is. That's the first time I ever caught that species. Ow, and he just bit me. That freaking hurt. Well, I guess I deserved it. I caught him. Hey, little buddy, hold on a second. Let me show you off. Oh yeah, we got him. Whatever he is, we got him this time. That little video sucker though. Another little bitty one. Let's see what we got this time. I don't know, this one feels about as big as the last one. He's pulling pretty good, actually. There we go, we got him too. Oh yeah, we're catching the crap out of him today. Let's see what we got this time. How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rolling Cajun Outdoors. Y'all already know what time it is. We're about to get on some fish. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Join the Cajun family. Give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Leave some comments if you got any questions. I always share the uh, locations that I fish unless it's a secret spot that somebody tells me about and they ask me not to share it, then I won't. Other than that, I always share the location. So if you want to know where I'm fishing at at any time, leave it in the comment section. I'll let you know. I'm at Magnolia Beach this morning. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty good day to fish. I bought some shrimp this morning because I forgot my cast net in Houston at Mom's. Uh, this was kind of like a spare the moment trip and I forgot to grab my cast net. So I just bought some dead shrimp. I'm going to fish with some dead shrimp with a pretty small hook. We're going to see what kind of species we can catch today and just have fun. So uh, let's get the lines rigged up. And uh, Actually, I'm just going to fish with one. I'm going to chunk it out there. I'm going to hold it in my hand and we're just going to fish it like, uh, like the old days. I'm not going to put no rod holders up or none of that. Anyways, let's get some uh, the rod set up on the bottom and uh, get ready to catch some fish. All right, so I, I just rigged this on uh, this little, uh, the way I like to rig mine up is I buy these straight leaders here. They're uh, about 18 inches long, 24 inches long. And then I uh, I put my weight on the line so it can slide up and down. And I always put like a little bead right here to keep this, uh, keep this from trying to go over the swivel because a lot of times it'll go over the swivel and mess it up. So I put that bead right there to keep it from going down. And that way this can slide up and down anyways. And I just put this little circle hook on here, but I really don't think, I really think I want to go with a smaller hook than that. I don't think that's going to be small enough because there's a lot of trash fish out here and I want to catch a whole bunch of whole bunch of fish today. So I'm looking to see if I have any uh, smaller hooks that I can put on there. I know I do. I just got to figure out where I put them at. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, these will work. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go with one of these little small stainless hooks like this. And that way we can just use like maybe a half a shrimp or even a quarter of a shrimp. I might put a whole piece of shrimp on there just to see if maybe we can catch something bigger. But for right now, we're just gonna we're just gonna have some fun. So we're gonna go with the little tiny hook. I got my little chair set up. I got my beer ready. Hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Nobody can tell me anything. And we're gonna sit down right here, and we're gonna chunk some uh, some shrimp out, and we're gonna see if we can test something. There we go. We can put this whole shrimp on there. Put it on just like that. It's kind of soft, so it's going to come off real easy. i got to be careful not to throw it too hard. Let's see if we can catch something. Oh, yeah, good cast. Man, I just noticed that one of these, uh, the eye on this, uh, the rod guides on this thing are off. That very first one is leaned way to the right. My rod's straight up and down right now, and that, one, that first one is way off to the right. It's not even lined up with the rest of them. I may have to go take this rod back. This is a $100 St. Croix rod. There's no reason that the line guide shouldn't be perfect. I'm pretty sure he done took my bait. Whoa, I think we got him. Did we get him? Oh yeah, we got him. Whatever he is, we got him this time. I let a video sucker though. Little tiny fish. Let's see what we got. Probably a little hard head. Oh no, it's a little croaker, just like I thought. I figured it was probably a little bit of croakers. That's actually pretty good bait. I should chunk him on the big rod, but I'm not really going to be here, but just a couple of hours. So we're just going to have some fun and catch a little small species. That's a little croaker I just caught. He's a pretty old little thing. Probably about four and a half, five inches long. See you later, little buddy. Oh, we hooked them easy. It's just these fish are real small. That's why I'm having a hard time hooking them. 
What you doing, Prince Bowie? What's my Prince Bowie doing? My old pain a butt. Y'all need some water? Y'all thirsty? Actually, I haven't given my dogs water in a little while, so let's give them some water before we throw another up. Uh, because we're going to be busy the whole time we throw this out. Every time we throw it out, we're going to get a bite. So, uh, let's get them some water. Come on, let's get y'all some water. Y'all thirsty? Come on. Let's get them babies something to drink. We're going to give y'all the good water, too. I'm going to give y'all bottled water. Come on, Prince Boy. There we go. Give them baby something to drink, y'all thirsty. There we go. All right, we got the baby something to drink. So let's get us some more shrimp on there, and uh, let's catch some more croakers. Uh, maybe when if we uh, catch enough little small fish, we'll bring in some bigger ones. and might catch some little rat red and stuff. That's a really fun uh, beach to fish. I like. Uh, I've been last few times I've been just targeting really big fish, and I just haven't caught any big fish out here uh, every time that I've come out here. So I figured. Why not just try to catch some smaller species? What I need to do is I need to take some of my little uh, salted squid and try some of my salted squid for the small species. I know they love that uh, good squid. I feel like when I threw it out there, something took the bait already, even though I didn't really feel it. I need to go put some sunscreen on here pretty shortly. If I'm going to be out here for a few hours, I need to have some sunscreen on because I'm be, I'm, I don't want to get burnt. That's a bite. Oh yeah, we got him. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Oh, we got a little, uh, a little piggy perch this time. Well, not a little piggy perch, this is a big sucker. No wonder I'm losing my uh, bait. I'm pretty sure this is a piggy perch. If I get the name wrong, make sure y'all tell me in the comment section. Dang it, come here so I can show you all first. I'm going to put you back in a minute. Let me show you all first. Yeah, I'm pretty positive this is called a piggy perch. I bought piggy perch before on uh, the fish with. They were much smaller than this, but I'm pretty sure he's a piggy perch. He's a pretty little thing. But if uh, y'all know the exact name of him, make sure you put it in the comment section. All right, little buddy. Well, I was going to try to put you in the water soft, but he, he flopped out of my hand, so... He didn't want to go. He didn't want to go easy. Oh, I think we got him. Oh yeah, we got him. Another little bitty one. Let's see what we got this time. I don't know. This one feels about as big as the last one. He's pulling pretty good, actually. What have we got this time? Oh, we got a little, uh, another little piggy perch. This one's got black stripes on him. I don't. I don't. Oh yeah. Well, maybe but when they get into the sunlight, the uh, stripes go away. Dang it, that hurt. He's about the same size as the last one, actually some pretty little fish thank you buddy dang it they keep flopping out of my hand they won't let me just throw them put them in there so gently there we go we got him too oh yeah we're catching the crap out of them today let's see what we got this time another little perch he's a smaller one that's why i keep losing my lure my uh bait so fast because they're so small little video sucker yeah, he's a little tiny one. I'll tell you what, if I was fishing for big fish, that's the perfect size right there. I'd be throwing that on my big rod and chunk, going off on the end of there and chunking as far as I can out there. But I'm not really going to be here long enough, and I don't really want to kill a little fish. See you later, buddy. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and let them all go. If I was going to be fishing all day long, I would, I would rig him up right now, chunk him out there. But i got to go pick up my daughter at 3 o'clock. And I believe it's uh, actually I need to I need to go work on my ex-wife's car at one o'clock, and it is almost eleven o'clock. So I got two more hours of fish, and I got to get out of here. Well, that's good. Maybe all these little small fish. Oh, we got him that time. I'm bringing in some bigger fish. Man, as soon as it touched the bottom, he was on it. 
That's a little bitty one again, though. This one might be a croaker. Yep. We got a croaker again this time. That's awesome. We're catching some different species. We're on two different species so far. Another little small croaker. Pretty little thing. All right, little buddy. Thank you. I cannot believe I bought a $100 rod and the line guys are crooked on it. What the hell, man? Doesn't any of these companies give any, any shit about their product anymore? How are you gonna sell a $100 rod that has crooked line guides? I mean, that don't make any damn sense to me, considering that I bought $30 rods that had perfectly straight line guides. How you not have that on a $100 rod? I'm actually pretty mad. I wish I'd have noticed it when in the store, but I guess I figured a $100 rod, it's gonna be perfect. What, what do I need to look at? I mean, who would have thought? But I tell you what, from now on, every time I buy a rod, I'm always going to take a good look at it first. If I have to, I'll get something else. I mean, if I can't trust St. St. Croix on making uh, making straight line guides on a hundred dollar rod, then surely I I can't trust them to. Uh, to I can't have them at all. I'm super excited. I'm going fishing with a good friend of mine. I've been wanting to go fishing with her forever now. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So in two weeks, y'all gonna be seeing some videos of us fishing. Hopefully she's not camera shy and she'll let me film it. I love to film all my uh, all my trips, so I'm hoping she's okay with that. I think she is because I'm pretty sure she knows that I have a YouTube channel. So that should be super exciting. I really don't get to fish with anyone these days. The guy I used to fish with turned into a douchebag, so I don't fish with him anymore. This is pretty fun fishing right here. Even though it's small species, it's still fishing and it's still fun. I just like to catch fish. I, I'm getting to the point where I don't really even care if they're big or small. As long as I'm catching something, it's fun. Thing about it is, for the longest time, I always had it in my head. I had to catch only big fish. And if I catch a small fish, I was disappointed. And as I got gotten older, I realized that fishing is fishing. And it's just fun all the way around. I mean, there's no certain type of fishing that's so much more fun than others you just got to figure out a way to enjoy the type of fish that you're catching but sometimes you just can't catch them big ones and trust me the last many times that i've been i have been trying to catch them big ones i have every single time i come out i always throw on big bait and sit around and sit around and sit around and sit around waiting hoping to catch that big fish and i have not dang prince you pooping again? Man, that's a poop machine right there. That's the second time he's pooped in the last two hours. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, I think I got him. Yeah, I got one. Dang it, I thought I was hitting rocks there for a second. We did get one. Oh, another pretty good sized little piggy perch. That's awesome. We actually foul hooked him. We didn't even hook him in his mouth. Another pretty little fish. Oh, dang it. Pretty little perch. Thank you, little buddy. Shoot, yeah, what is that? Like five already we caught? I'm actually going to make a pretty decent video. Oh, yeah, it's 11.30, so we got one more hour to fish, and then we got to get out of here. So I want to be out of here by 12.30. And we kind of already fished the miner. I mean, the major for the day, the major was from 9 to nine to 11. So the major already ended. So that may have been why the bike turned off. Oh, we got him oh yeah we got him this time just a little bitty one though we got him what do we got here oh we got we foul hooked a little hardhead no one i've been not catching them i've been these little bitty old stupid suckers right here i wonder i haven't been catching them at all they've been eating it up well i foul hooked the crap out of him i got him right in his spine stupid little hardheads but that's why I haven't been catching them because they're little bitty bitty tiny suckers.
Yeah, I'll give this shrimp to them kids whenever I'm heading out. We'll see if they want it. Oh yeah, we got him. That was a bite that time. We got him on the mouth. I could feel him jerking his head. It's probably a little, uh, a little croaker or a, uh, one of them little perch. Cause he's shaking the crap out of his head. Oh yeah, that's one of them little perch. They're wild. Oh, he's the biggest one so far, actually. That's a nice one. Not a whole lot bigger than the uh, than the other ones, but he's definitely the biggest one so far. Man, these suckers do not want you taking their picture. Oh yeah, pretty little fish. Nice fins and all that. See you later, little buddy. Thank you. I really not stop bringing me a rag out here. I had some rags and I ended up using them all for working on my vehicle the other day. They're all full of oil, so I had to throw them away. Oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> Heck yeah. We're catching them now. Another little pig perch. Oh no. What is that? Is that a skipjack? Oh man, I don't even know what kind of fish that is. That's the first time I ever caught that species. Ow, and he just bit me. That freaking hurt. Well, I guess I deserved it. I caught him. Hey, little buddy, hold on a second. Let me show you off. If y'all know what kind of fish that is, uh, tell me in the comment section. He got some sharp teeth. He just bit the crap out of me. That's a cool little fish. Thank you for the bite, little buddy. Yeah, I never caught that fish, but he, bought, he bit the crap out of me. I got blood coming out right now. Look at that. His little teeth are sharp. Well, I deserved it. I hooked him in the mouth, so he bit me. Whatever. Oh yeah, we got that one. Whatever he is, we got him. Oh yeah. Blowing them little perch again. I could tell the way he's uh wow he's a big one. Actually. Another nice size one. Pretty little fish. I love these little fish. See you later, little buddy. Oh yeah, we got that one. We got another one, baby. Shoot, yeah. That's another one of them little perks, as I could tell, because they do some serious freaking head shakes. They go crazy. <laughs> They go crazy. Heck yeah, another nice one. Pretty little fish. I like catching these. These are a lot of fun. See you later, little buddy. Okay, so I'm taking it. On these smaller pieces like this, I hook it right here on the very end. I go all the way through it. And then I go all the way back out. And then I push it through the skin until the barb is sticking out of it. So that whenever it grabs them, the end of that hook can grab them because if you have the if you got the end of your hook buried inside of that shrimp they're just going to eat at it until they get the, uh, the bait off you're not going to be able to hook them because you need that hook exposed especially with these little suckers because they're slick oh yeah we got him little bitty sucker but we got him another little piggy perch I keep calling these piggy perch, y'all. Let me know if I'm calling them the wrong name. I could have been calling them the wrong name this whole trip. We got another one, probably about four and a half, five inches long. I like these little fish. See you later, little buddy. Come here, so I can throw you back. There we go. Wild little suckers. All right. So we got to get going. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. That was a really fun fishing trip. I caught a whole bunch of them little piggy perch. I caught a couple of uh, croakers. It was super fun. I hope to do it again sometime. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Join the Cadian family. Give the video a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And until next time, everyone, tight lines.